Do you want to create killer custom YouTube thumbnails for free that will generate massive views to your videos even with no graphic design experience? In today's tutorial, I'll show you a totally free and easy design tool that practically does the work for you that you can use on both your laptop and your cell phone. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Coach Ron Lyons, and on this channel, I give you the latest tips and strategies that I've learned to grow on YouTube. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe and click on that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the latest tips and strategies on how to get more views to your videos and make more money on YouTube. So most people know by now that making your thumbnails stand out so that people click on them is key to getting more views to your videos. The measurement for that is called CTR or click-through rate, which you can look in your analytics. But there are two problems that face most creators and that is, how do you know your thumbnail is going to be great? And how can you do it for free without any graphic design experience? Today's video is going to answer both of those questions. So let's go ahead and hop on my computer and get this started. All right, here we are on my computer and I'm going to show you step by step how to make that killer thumbnail using a free app called Canva. Now you can use this on both mobile and on desktop. I'm going to be showing you primarily the desktop version, but I will show you real quickly how it looks on mobile at the end as well. So you can get a visual on how easy this app is to use. Now this video is part four of a five part series on how to optimize your channel for more views and subscribers. I'll link the other videos in the cards and the description below. So be sure to go watch those so that your channel will be primed for more views and subscribers. So if you aren't familiar with Canva, it's totally free to use and they give you thousands of free templates. You can see them right here. Uh, resumes, invoices, calendars, business cards, flyers, brochures, certificates, uh, I mean just everything you can imagine. They give you tons of stock photos, um, they give you a ton of other elements that you can add in from all kinds of things like logo design and all sorts of things, much much more, there's no way to go over it all today. Um, but there's a paid plan as well that gives you more tools and even more creatives, but you can use the free version as long as you like. I did for like a year and a half, and the great thing is you can do this, like I said, on both your laptop on your phone, and it works for Mac, uh, for PC, Android, and uh, iPhone. Um, now I'll show you how to do both today again step by step in just a couple minutes. I'll put the link for Canva down in the description below so you can just click on that and get started right away. On your laptop it's a browser based app so you don't have to worry about using up more storage and downloading another app. So literally you click on the link, it'll open up in your browser and you can get started right away. Um, on, on your smartphone you do have to download the app but it's super easy to do. All right, so let's go back here into Canva. Um, there's five components you need to make a killer thumbnail. And so the first thing you want to do is you're going to hit on create design and we're going to type in here YouTube thumbnail. And you can see it kind of pops up there and we're going to click on that and so it automatically gives you the right size for a, a YouTube thumbnail and then it comes up with a ton of different templates and based on your niche um, you can click there's food and beauty uh, some tutorial ones you just click on see all and see all of them you can also go down here to all results and I'm not going to use this today I'm going to show you how to do a custom one completely from scratch I think it's um, a little bit easier in my opinion to, to make it custom but certainly for ease uh, you can use any of these templates if you just aren't having a creative moment or whatever. Um, and so now there are five different elements that you need to make a killer thumbnail. We're going to go in order of those elements and load them into this canvas. And so the first thing you need to have is an image of yourself that shows some sort of expression related to the topic. Now you don't necessarily always have to have your picture on the thumbnails. I highly recommend it if you have a business, if you're an entrepreneur, people want to know who you are. You know, if you have an entertainment channel or gaming, maybe you don't always have to have it there, but I still recommend it often because people want to know who is behind the channel. And so from a business standpoint, which is what I teach, 
um, you want to have your face. And so in this case, you can upload pictures. You want to take a really good quality picture with some different expressions. Get creative. You can look on YouTube to look at some of the different expressions people do. You can see some various ones I've done for clients and some of mine on here. And you just take a whole bunch of pictures so that you have them available to upload at any time. And so all you would do is upload them into your photos. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and just pick a photo because I'm not going to use mine. Um, and so I like this one right here. I'm going to go ahead and click on this as if this is you or me in this case. Now you can isolate the background by clicking on effects and if you have the pro version of Canva you can click on background remover and you can see it happen really quick. If you want to do it for free then there's plenty of apps you can download to do a quick uh, background remover and then you can upload it into Canva so you have that um, in all of your photo files. In this case, we went ahead and isolated it within Canvas, so that's kind of a really cool uh, thing that you get with the Pro version. And so there's your face. Now you can go ahead and filter it, and I always recommend making it pop out as much as possible. You can use different filters here, like if we click on uh, Dare is one that I often like to use. We're going to go ahead and bring it down just a little bit. I think that's pretty good. So if you look at that, compared to the, to the original, I think that that really looks good. It pops out a lot better. And so, boom, you've got a great picture. Now, the second component is a picture or element that tells the story of the video. This photo needs to stand out in one second to the audience that you're trying to reach. So when they're scrolling through, they need to be able to see your picture may not be enough to necessarily stop them, but if you have your picture plus something that tells the story really, really good, then um, it will really stand out and get them to click on your, uh, your thumbnail. So in this case, we're gonna do desserts. And so let's go ahead and type in desserts. And so we're maybe going to do this one right here. This is uh, looks pretty delicious. I don't know what it is. Looks like some sort of layered tiramisu or a cheesecake or something. But that looks pretty tasty. So we'll put that here. And you know, you're just kind of looking up like, hmm, that looks pretty delicious, right? And so we've got a great picture. We're going to go ahead. You can click on the position here and bring it to the back. So see how it popped behind uh, your picture there. So this way you can kind of expand it, get it nice and big there. And again, you if you if you took your own picture, you would have uploaded it. You could have some sort of background, make the background look cool. Uh, according to your branding colors. In this case, we've isolated this, which you can use that same isolation tool um, and, and uh, have that looking really sharp, crisp, and clear. Now, the third component is some text that puts together what works with the title. And so um, you don't want to have make sure you have no more than 32 characters if you can. Less is better in this case. In fact, if your photo tells a good enough story, you don't even need text. Uh, this looks pretty darn good. I may not even use text, but I'll put some in just to, for sake of example. Uh, most entrepreneurs and businesses are giving some sort of useful information. So most often you're going to need some sort of text that works in conjunction with your title. Uh, and so you want it to, to match your branding as well, but don't get too crazy with the font. You want the font to be something that uh, is super easy to read, especially when you're talking about mobile. So let's go ahead and go into the text and we're just going to go ahead and add a heading here and we're going to talk about show. Question of the day, what apps are you using to make your thumbnails? Go ahead and comment down below and share with everyone. Let's get back into the tutorial. Show and we're going to, we're going to start off, we're going to call this show stopping dessert. And we don't even need to put desserts in this case. So we'll pick a font that we like. Let's just go with, and there's so many of them here. I'm not going to take the time to go through a bunch. All right, so we're going to go with this one right here. Um, I think this looks good, and we're going to bring this up a little bit. Now, you don't, obviously don't want to cover up too much of the picture. So I think that's good. And then we're going to do the word... Right, so you, you can already tell it's a show-stopping dessert. 
So we don't need to add the word dessert. And the dessert, so this is where you use it in conjunction with the title. A lot of people have put show stopping dessert, but you don't need to put that because it's in the title. So people, if your title says the best desserts, then it's going to, you know, people are going to see that. And it's obvious that that's a dessert in here. So we're going to bring this up a little bit more over here. And now you can see it's starting to come together. And so the fourth component that you need to make a killer YouTube thumbnail is your elements that show your branding. So that's your colors. You can incorporate the colors in text. You can get something like if we go here to shapes and we click on this box, we can make this box a certain size, put it behind. So you can see we can move it over here. And then all you do is go up to position and click backwards. And then let's make this, let's say your colors are, oh gosh, I don't know. Um, and so let's move this picture out of the way so we can get to it a little bit better. Let's go ahead and make show going back to white. Okay, so that's going to stand out a little bit better. And let's move this box just a little bit bigger. Okay, that looks pretty good. Right, and then let's just say your other colors are, let's get another box in here. And again, you just make it the size of the letters, click on the position and move it backwards. And now let's just say your other colors are, uh, let's do, okay, and so then you could make this black. Right, so now let's get the dessert back up here. And so now you get the idea, show stopping, you, you, you've used your colors, you know, in your, in your channel, you use a lot of the purple and the black and the white. Um, I know that's a terrible example, but just for sake of time, that's what we, you know, that's your branding color. So now all of your thumbnails will kind of have this sort of design, right? And so you've got a great picture of yourself. You got a picture here that tells a story. You've got some great text over here. Uh, and so the last component, component number five, is actually a step that most people forget to do. And it's actually not really necessarily changing anything, but it's taking a look at your thumbnail from the perspective of being on mobile. And so we're going to click on 25% here, and you can actually even take it down to 10% if you really want to get a good idea. And you can see here how it's going to stand out. And this looks really good because you can see both of the words show stopping. You can see that that uh, dessert looks great. You can see your face. Um, so I don't think we need to make any changes, but this will allow you to, to take a look and see if the words are blending in or maybe your background, if you're not using a white background, you know, maybe the background is blending in to everything too much. All right, so on your mobile phone, all you're going to go to is your app store. On Android, it's your Play Store. You're going to download Canva. As soon as it's download, just open it up, and you will log in using the same credentials as your uh, web browser, or in this case, if you're only doing it on the mobile phone, you'll use your login information. And once you're in there, you'll see it looks pretty similar. You can see all the same templates that you, uh, showed you on the web browser. And so you can see if I click on designs here, I have all my designs as well. And so all you're going to do is go into YouTube thumbnail, just like we did. Uh, and there's all the templates. So you can download a template. You just click on it, click edit. And then from here, all you have to do is click on anything to start editing it. There's the um, font and you can change the font any way that you want. Uh, you can also change the size and the spacing. Everything that you could do on the web browser you can do here. You can click on the picture and you can see you have access to your own phone gallery. You have access to the same images from Canva. You've got colors and filters. And then if you want to do anything additional to this screen, you can actually click on the little plus sign right there and you can see text, image, video, sticker, illustration, logos, Everything that you could do on the web browser, you can literally do here. Of course, if you didn't want to use 
one of those templates. You can click on blank and same thing. You just touch it and there's the gallery ready to go or you can click on the plus sign and enter in text and all of that. So this is the mobile version. You can see uh, it's completely intuitive very user friendly and has all the same capabilities that you can do on the web browser to make those awesome killer YouTube thumbnails. So now you know exactly how to make a killer thumbnail that's gonna attract more views and more subscribers and you've got the tool to do it for free. As always, be sure to smash that thumbs up button and give your feedback or questions down in the comments below. I do check them every day and respond so that we can connect and grow together. My passion is to help creators just like you learn from my mistakes and the lessons that I've learned from some of the top influencers on YouTube so that you can accelerate your channel. So let's connect. And remember, you're just one video away. I'll see you in the next video.